Hi, Dr. Q here from Star Nursery. Joey Lynn and I thought that we would show you today how to properly plant colorful container gardens for your patio or entryway. The first thing that you will need to do is pick out a pot or container that you would like to plant it in. There are many choices of size, shapes, and colors to pick from, so choose something that is most attractive to you. It is very important to make sure that the pot has good drainage holes in the bottom. This will prevent the soil from staying too wet and rotting the roots. Here are the things you will need to use to properly plant your container. Rocks that are larger than the size of your drainage holes, potting soil that is moist and rich in organic matter, plants that are compatible with the exposure and environment that you are putting them in. Now you're ready to plant. Place the rocks in the bottom of your container, making sure that the rocks are not small enough to go through the drainage holes. A two to three inch layer of rock will allow the water to easily drain out of the bottom of the container and not allow the soil to wash out or clog the holes. Next, pour the potting soil into the container and gently pack it down to about four to six inches from the top, depending on the size of the pot and the size of the plants you're using. There are different uses for container plantings. You can plant evergreen ornamental plants for a more permanent planting. Things like topiaries or sculpted evergreen plants or dwarf fruit trees are good choices for this. You can use seasonal color plants for a more colorful display that can be changed out several times a year. Or you can use a combination of both seasonal and evergreen plants in one container. Today we are using the layered effect using a thriller or central focus plant, fillers, colorful middle plants, and spillers, colorful weeping plants around the edge of the pot. As you put the plants into place, you should fill in around them with extra potting soil and pack them in. When you are finished arranging the plants, you should use a sprinkling can to evenly wet the plants and soil until water comes out of the bottom of the container. A moisture meter can be used to tell you when to water again. Next week, we'll show you how to make a container cactus and succulent garden. For more information, stop by one of our store locations or visit us at StarNursery.com or on our free app. And don't forget, we make house calls. Stop by your nearest Star Nursery location or call 702-771-7827 to make an appointment. Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. I'm Dr. Q. And I'm Joey Lynn. And we'll see you again next week.